Welcome, dear guest, friend and follower to the Kile Caribbean YouTube channel. If you can or can't sew, it's not a problem. Learn firsthand by a world-renowned lingerie and bathing suit designer, Mr. Hugo Kili. He is also known for his lingerie and bathing suit easy-to-put-together patterns. We welcome novices, hobbyists and professional sewers to this channel. Rest assured, you all will learn new tips and a nice craft. After or during the tutorial, you may also sew your lingerie and you will be amazed at how easy it really is. You may also start your own business if you wish to. This is the Olympic Mill Shorts Swimwear Model 7081, which consists of a front piece in lycra and one in lining and a posterior piece in lycra. Two notches can be observed in the leg on the front piece. This is a dart in lycra. Here we will stretch the elastic to the max so that the pocket will form. We will need a lace or cord and here we have the pattern which is available at www.kili-caribbean.com We start by overlocking the front piece, the posterior piece and the lining together. This is done by accommodating the front piece with the right side up. Then we add the posterior piece with the right side on top of it so that the right sides match and then we add the lining to the posterior piece by matching the right side of the lining to the internal side of the posterior piece and we overlock them together. Now we overlock the side seams. Now we continue sewing common elastic on the legs and the waist with inverted French seam using the overlock machine. Now we proceed to overlock the elastic onto the shorts. The overlock machine will have a wide long stitch. We will put the elastic diagonally under the presser foot of the overlock machine and sew until the elastic has straightened up beneath the presser foot. Then we insert the fabric starting at 2 cm before the seam at the leg and here we also start diagonally. When the blade starts to cut off the fabric, we straighten it to continue sewing. Note that within the notches, we need to stretch the elastic to its max, so that the pocket will form. Here, we take 5 cm from the presser foot to us, stretch only half a cm and continue sewing. This operation we repeat for the other leg and the waist. This operation is also done for female swimwear to form the cups. An example, the Baywatch swimsuit model. When we almost reach back to where we started sewing, we unsew half a centimeter, then we trim the elastic. Now we continue sewing until the two elastics meet. There we stop, with the needle down, we lift the presser foot up, we accommodate the elastics and without stretching we lower the presser foot and we sew for about 1 cm and get the garment diagonally out of the overlock machine. We trim off the elastic, dia we trim off the elastic diagonally. We repeat the same operation on the other leg and waist. The only difference for the waist is that the elastic used is of 2 cm wide. This procedure remains the same. Remember that the settings of the overlock machine 
should be set to the longest stitch length. The opening we see here, we will secure with an overlock stitch as shown. We now look for the center front and we will sew a bottom hole imitation. This is for the cord to pass through. This will be done with a zigzag stitch of 0.6 mm long and 2 mm wide. We perform two stitches, then we perform two back stitches and helping with your fingers, we sew for about 1 cm and we reverse stitch so that it will hold. We lift the needle, we go a tiny little bit to the right, we lower the needle and we repeat the same operation. Due to the fact that we are sewing with Lycra, it's not necessary to secure the buttonhole stitch with a closing of the stitch. The Lycra won't fray. Perform the second part of the inverted French seam, we fold the fabric and elastic and sew with a zigzag stitch of 2mm long and 3.5mm wide. We fold, accommodate and sew. This operation is done on the leg and waist. The stitch will go at the border and inside, at the border and inside. We can also perform this operation with the magnet guide as shown in the previous videos. Now we proceed to add the cord. We can use a safety pin or a hair pin to pass the cord through the bottom hole and throughout the tunnel until we reach back at the bottom hole.
Then we tighten the two extremes together. The cord can go to the external or internal side. This is the completed project. It wasn't that difficult after all, right? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we invite you to follow our Facebook page and to visit our website. The relevant information will be found in the description box below.